Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Basha and I am Shopware Developer. In today's video, we are going to create or to complete the CMS element we, we created uh, in the last uh, or the, in the previous video. Um, the preview for an element. And now uh, we are going to complete that. Uh, for the block and the um, component. So let us start. Under SWCMS, create the create the following directory. Blocks. Text image. Our element belongs to to this uh, text image category. Uh, you will uh, specify uh, that later in the index uh, GS. Um, I mean, which category that your uh, block will belongs to. And if you check your uh, the shopware core here, you see is categorized in directories. And what I mean here, you can specify which category is belongs to. And in the sidebar you have those categories but uh, sure you can you create your own uh, category but now for me it will be enough for uh, text image here so here is uh, the text image directory um, we create here a directory with the same name of our directory in the elements for our um, element uh, object I mean. so inside this directory create index .js file and then import that in the main file Um, automatically will you uh, your file will be loaded um, using this index.js uh, you can copy the content of index.js uh, uh, from the uh, example of uh, shopware uh, documentation and we are going to change the values now here we, so you can see the time here is the technical name of your blog And using the register CMS block, you can um, uh, register your uh, block object using Shopware service here. And if you check the CMS element that we have already in a previous video created, re register your uh, CMS element here. And here is register CMS block. The technical name I will take it from the CMS it will be the same and it will be no problem because here is block CMS and here is a CMS element so the category it will be the same text image I mean the same that will appear under the category text images I will show you now what I mean here those are the categories of CMS elements and should be appear here our element for the label I will use the same translation in the snippets here and for the component uh, we are going just to remove that and write our technical name uh, the preview component uh, you can do the same for it uh, the preview component show you how to your um, uh, block will looks like if you use it here do you know that is here preview component uh, for slots here you are going to have six images and there are six titles for each image and, and it, uh, a title. So, image one,
Nice. I will uh, pause the recording and come back. So I have already created those image and title uh, slots. We are going to represent that in the templates that we have. We are going to create it now. Now to create the component, create the directory component and uh, inside that create the index.js file. So here we are going to define our uh, component template and uh, the style. Here it will be the style and the template and we are going to import it in the index.js file. So I created the or uh, the uh, content of the index.js uh, file I imported the template uh, and the style that we are going to create here that is template and this um, style To create the component content here, just copy the um, this default uh, value from the documentation, and we are going to change it now. Remove that. The same thing will be here, row So now you remove that here at slot. And that, that are here the slots. You can take the name for it, that. change that so I created that uh, the template now now just go to the style uh, here Let me make the row display Flex. So now we are going to import our component in the index. Yes. And this is now we are going to create the preview. Uh, of the component like on the sidebar 
this one here. Under six image with title, create the following um, preview and inside it the index.js. Copy the content of the example from the documentation and change the content with the name of your uh, component. So I change it, but just uh, you have to be careful here that the name should be the same because you have already registered that here. And now just create the template or here, I mean, yeah, the template. Copy that and then the style so I have created the template for the preview component that we have imported here already so that is one row the second row I mean the first row and it is like the same like uh, of s when you check the preview here template is same structure but just uh, name of class are just different and now we are going to style the, um, the our template here So don't forget to import the component here. Oops. It was the wrong, I think. No. So here you import the preview component that you have created. Uh, so now I'm going to upload my changes to the container and then uh, I'm going to build the administration. So our changes are there and now let us build that. I got uh, I got an error while I building the administration. Uh, it was in the main GS here. Just I forgot to import the six images file directly here. Just import that here. Upload it. And now rebuild. So the build is already finished and now let us check the preview component and the component. So nice, that is our preview component. Drag and drop here. So it is work, but uh, the style is not uh, as uh, we expected. Therefore, we are going to fix it. Uh, so, but for, before that, I show you uh, you can that you can upload here the images that you want for each image here.
now you can save that see everything work I can remove that title title 2 save So as I mentioned already, uh, we have to fix the style here and uh, we are going to render that in the storefront. That was for today. In the next video, we are going to render uh, the images and uh, the titles to the storefront and we are going to fix the style uh, of the component in the admin uh, administration. Don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe the channel. Have fun. Goodbye.